Hi guys, today I wanted to talk to you about the Nissi V5 100mm filter system that I ended up buying a good while back. And I my main concern was that this would not work with my ultra wide angle uh, Nikon's 10 to 24 millimeter lens. And that was the main lens I wanted to be able to use that with. Now, I ended up choosing the Nissi system over the Leaf mostly due to price. And the reason for that is I knew I needed at least two adapter rings and I needed the one to be the low profile version. And um, Lee's system actually was a good bit more expensive when I counted that and also um, a polarizer filter. The, the Nissi system actually comes with a circular polarizer filter that is a real uh, thin line one. And I looked at that and there was a lot of benefits there. And so I ended up choosing this one, not positive it would give me uh, vignetting or not with my ultra wide angle. So I wanted to show you guys today what I found when I got the uh, filter system uh, and there was a little bit of vignetting at the very very end of the uh, 10 uh, millimeter range there. So I wanted to show that to you a little bit and uh, we'll, we'll go a little more in depth here. Now first thing I wanted to do here is I'll just show you the holder itself a little bit and it does come with three slots here for to hold three different filters at the same time and I wanted to point out on the back here these little screws um, here there are four screws here and you can see them on the front here one two on each side here. Now if you remove these screws you can take off one of these little things here and change it to a two-piece system which is what I ended up having to do to be able to make that work with my uh, super wide angles there. And to me that's okay because I usually only use uh, two filters at the very most maybe a um, ND filter and then a graduated filter. So I usually don't use much more than that as, as well it still gives you the polarizer option so that's really plenty for most circumstances and the fact that I can use my ultra wide angle that makes it better because this is the type of work that I often work uh, at wide angles. So with no further ado I'm going to put the filter here, the holder, on the lens so um, sorry for the shake and uh, you can see what I'm talking about here. Now I wanted to tell you that's actually how easy it is to put the uh, holder on the lens there. Now as I turn this you should be able to see parts of it come through the frame. Those are not my fingers. And usually you won't have more than one or two corners at a time there. But it does show up, and that was something I didn't want. And uh, once I uh, remove the uh, last holder set, um, you'll be able to see that the result is much nicer, much cleaner. Okay, guys, so now I have removed the extra uh, piece there so that it only holds two filters at this point. And again, I said I was quite okay with that. And uh, I'm going to show you how much uh, improvement we have here. So let me go ahead and throw that on there for you. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and twist this for you. Just to show you again that I really don't see anything on it at this point. Again, this is with the lens set to 10 millimeter the widest that the thing goes. That was my finger uh, there. So, Okay guys, so I uh, just wanted to show you this this is the piece that I took off right here and it's just one of them there. Uh, one on each side of um, so you actually do have two but you just take one off on each side 
And the only uh, downside that you have is actually now, uh, instead of sitting flush, the uh, screws will sit out um, just a tad here. And uh, that's not really an issue. Uh, I am just being OCD when I say that that's an issue. Of course, if you really wanted, you could grind those down or something like that. Um, as long as you do it properly. Okay guys, so I'm just going to show you a little bit of uh, what I have here um, that the, the kit comes with. Um, first of all, here are the two pieces that we pulled off. And I'm just going to set those aside in case I ever need them for anything. And um, this is the holder itself. And um, you saw how that clipped on and everything there. And this piece here actually screws on to uh, a filter ring set. Now those, there were actually three of those that come with the kit. We have a 77, a 72, and a 67 millimeter there. So you'll screw one of those onto your lens. And that piece will screw into this piece here. Now one cool thing about this is that this has the um, spot for the circular polarizer here. And basically uh, it's pretty simple and everything. It just, it just kind of screws onto the front here. And so this thing is super streamlined and this is before you even put the um, filter holder itself on. So that's pretty cool and it has a uh, little uh, screw uh, wheel here that turns the filter in its slot. So it's pretty nice uh, that it does that and you don't have any issue once you put the filters on being able to change the polarizer settings. So then once that is on um, this part here just basically slides in and you just pull this little knob right here um, and that's how you lock it into place, the whole thing. So that's how the whole system works. And uh, I really do like it. It's a beautiful piece. Um, it works really well. Um, like I said, getting the circular polarizer for cheap um, was also a plus. Um, so you end up with the three different uh, sizes for different lenses. You end up with the uh, polarizer filter and the holder uh, and it's a lot cheaper than putting all those parts together if you were going to uh, use the Lee system. So uh, I hope this review worked out uh, as to be real helpful and uh, let me know if you have any questions in the comments and uh, great. Thanks. Have a great day.